Welcome back guys. We're putting in the New York ferry system. And I think this is going to be fascinating. I have learned so much about uh, the, the ferry terminals. Oh yeah, I've been doing lots of research. Uh, one thing I can tell you, this is going to cost an absolute fortune. So um, I've done a little bit of optimization. Um, just like getting rid of excess vehicles wherever I can. And I've cut it back a fair amount. There's, um, there's one other thing we can do to, uh, to boost our cash flow. And that is, uh, if we look at, uh, if I go to manage vehicles, go down to somewhere near the bottom. Here we go. The Greenport food line and the Montauk food line. What I'm going to do, because we need, uh, we need like more throughput on these lines. So what we can do is just upgrade them to the latest vehicles. And if we go to, you know what, let's, uh, yeah. If we go to uh, here, replace, and we can upgrade to this new steam tarpaulin truck. Oh yeah, we're using these old vehicles, these old horse-drawn carriages. 11 miles an hour, capacity four. We can upgrade to these, 16 miles an hour, capacity six. So currently on Greenport Food, our rate is 39. Replace this 1.7 million, this is gonna cost. And our rate goes up to 58, which is quite a jump. And then we're going to do the same thing on Montauk Food. Rate is currently 49. Replace. It's going to cost me 3 million. 49 goes up to 73. Uh, which is, yeah, I mean, that's a jump of what? About 50% just from upgrading the vehicles. So that's awesome. Now, that is going to um, hopefully make us a bit more cash on those lines. So at this point, and now seriously, I am going to need millions and millions and millions to do this you're going to see why this is a really expensive business so i'm going to let it run for a while get some cash and then i'll show you all the secrets of ferry terminals okay i've run it on for a few years and we are up to 24 million and we've been making it kind of bounces around we've we've made anything from like one and a half million up to like 3.6 million one year we made two million last year we're kind of I don't know how far through this year we are, uh, but that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna work start working with twenty four million, and I tell you what twenty four million is gonna go in like a blink of an eye. Okay, there are three ferry terminals in um, in downtown Manhattan. There's one there's one about here, which is um, which is actually Pier Eleven. Now I've called this Pier Eleven. Pier Eleven is actually here, and it's actually um, it's actually called Wall Street. So, because it's because it's like like right by Wall Street, and then you've got uh, this. This should actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. This should actually be called um, Slip Five, which is the the Maritime Building, um, and this is where the this is where the Staten Island ferries go from. Uh, but th but this is this is going to have to act as both Slip Five uh, and Pier Eleven. Uh, Pier. 11 and if I could spell peer it would be even better peer there we go peer 11 okay uh, the one I'm going to put in is um is the uh, the battery park uh ferry terminal uh, which is actually called Brookfield Place now it should be about here I used to live I used to live about here like like actually, like this part is actually kind of like the battery park itself here like the actual park, and then, um, and then, I, probably this, probably this building would have been where I lived in Manhattan. So the ferry terminal should be like here, but I think, I think I'm actually going to take a bit of license and put it um, up here. Big, I just for like. <laughs> It's very, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Like once I've done it, you'll see, you'll understand why. So what I want to do is put in a, uh, a ferry terminal, in this case, a harbor, right? And let me just turn on, because there's a, I want to put it, there's a bus stop here and I want to put it by the bus stop. Uh, let's see, what do I want? I want, show me the stops. Yeah, so here. Now, this road is not straight here and I've got to confess um, life is a hell of a lot easier 
if you've actually got a straight piece of road to put it on. It looks a lot better as well. So I actually think I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to take that out. Take that out. This is going to cost me a fortune. That's going to cost me half a million. So, yeah, that's cost me a couple of a couple of million just to do that. And then I'm going to put my street back in. But it's going to go in like dead straight. Okay, having done that, I'm then going to put in a little bit uh, a little bit of flat texture because you can see if I if I try and put this um, this harbour in, you can see that I'm very limited about where I can actually put it. Uh, in, I, like I can put it there, but I kind of want it to be in the middle. Because well, you'll see why. You'll see why. So uh, what I'm going to do is just extend this out a little bit. Like that. I'd like to get a nice kind of flat edge if I can, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be changing it later anyway. But um, okay, let's start with that. Let's start with that. So we are going to put in the harbour, which is going to go. Now it's important that I have this lined up pretty precisely. And whoops, try that again. Yeah, I think it's kind of betwixt and between, isn't it? I think I think that's probably the best one. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap so that I've got a little bit of room to play with. And this is going to go in, let's say... I want this kind of right in the middle. Oh, you know what? I need to put the, station, uh, the uh, bus stops back in first because otherwise this is not going to work. So let's put my stops back in. Yes, I've got my stops. Right, now you are going to go in there. Boom. Okay, um, yeah, you know what? Because I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I'll take the I'll, I'll take the loss. Uh, what I wanted to do was say, if I put in a well, actually, there's a couple of things I want to show you. Okay, first of all, I'm going to be using small docks because if I try and use large docks, right? Look, it, look, it's it's bigger than the width of the river. Okay. And we need something that is very, very small. Okay, so I'm going to be using some tricks to, to make this as small as it can possibly be. Now, one of these costs, well, let, let's see. If I, do, if I do a small one with four terminals, okay, that should cost me about half a million, right? Now, I'll, I'll accept like a million apiece for these terminals. The problem is that once you start knocking stuff down, um... You don't get full refunds. And I'm going to be doing a lot of knocking down. You'll see why in a second. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of set the costs at these at like a million a piece. And then, and they will cost me a hell of a lot more than that. And I'm probably just going to gift myself um, the money back. Because um, it's crazy. It, it's literally crazy the amount of money it would cost me. So um, I'm going to put um, this in. I want this kind of centered if I can get it centered about there okay having put that in the first thing I thought that you had to have this uh, this main building and in fact if I you know what if I take that out, if I take that out right if you try and put in like a passenger dock w without a main building it just won't let you do it you have to put in a main building and then it will give you the points to connect to with these uh, with these docks but <laughs> I found there's um, there's more than one way to skin a cat and um, so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to have let's see I'm gonna take out uh, that one and that one and that one I'm just gonna have this central one here okay then what I'm gonna do is um, how do I how do I want to do this? That's a good question. If I put this in, if I put this in there, 
Then I can put one of these in. Uh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Yeah, you have to kind of play around with this a little bit. What I want is, ah, right, if I put that in there, then I can put one of these across there. Cool. And then I want to do the same thing with this. If I, you know what, if I come out, uh, you know what, if I get rid of this, so that I can have this coming out here, and then I put in a dock there. And see, now I can put in a dock there, right? Which I couldn't before. So, but the, the problem is you have to put in all these docks. Now these cost me 100,000 a piece. Oh, by the way, the cost of these things, right, is half a million, right? <laughs> they are staggeringly, staggeringly expensive. And they're also staggeringly, staggeringly huge. So that's why I'm not using those. Okay, what I want to do now is get rid of these docks like this. And then to extend the... Um, the the reach of the of the docks as far as possible i'm going to put a landing on that end and i'm going to put well not a landing what are they called a uh, pedestrian entrance and one on that end okay and then i'm going to put in docks there actually now am i going to put them in like that uh ideally I'd actually want it there. But I'll live with that. Now, look at the size difference, right? Compared to putting in uh, something like that, right? It's m a massive, massive, massive difference. Now, you might be saying, ah, like, instead, instead of putting this in there, why didn't you put these, like, right into, into this bit? Um, the, the answer is it makes it very difficult to put your landings on. Now, let me show you. The landings are really, really awkward. And I am, I am, uh, I am very much in two minds about this because it, it's so awkward. What, what seems to happen is the, the ones on the, the left-hand side seem to work. The ones on the right-hand side don't work. There you go, look. Right? One on the left-hand side, left side works. One on the right-hand side doesn't. Neither of those two work. The one that, that one doesn't work, that one doesn't work, and that one doesn't work. Okay, so now I have to play around to try and get the darn things to work. So typically, if I get rid of oh no, I didn't want to do that. I want to configure this. If I get rid of that one and put one of these in there, right now, well, I mean we'll see. But typically, I can put one there, and then I can put one. Okay, that one's not working at the moment. So what I have to do is get uh, get this and flatten into here. So let's take it from, say, there. And flatten this along there. Okay. And maybe a little touch more there. Can I get a little touch? Come on, come on, give me a little bit more. No, nope, doesn't want to give me any more. Okay, let's try now. This is a very, very fiddly process. So, okay, so I can get one there. Oh, I've got both of those working now. That's a surprise. That is a real surprise. Uh, that one isn't working. That one is, that one isn't, that one is, that one isn't. See, the ones on the left-hand side seem to work, and the ones on the right-hand side don't. And I, don't, I, don't, I really don't understand why, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I am kind of tempted to do this. So if I put if I put that dock in there and that dock in there and get rid of that one, what I'm trying to get is uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then this one won't work. Yeah. That is what I'm aiming for. So we've got we've got one, two, three, four, five docks, five landings, so we can have potentially five lines going into here. Now the um, the the ferry routes. There are a lot of ferries uh, which go in and out of here. Uh, there are how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like there's like nine ferry 
terminals up and down here. And I've got to be kind of careful how I put stuff in. Because, for example, there is, um, there is a ferry terminal, like right here. It's called uh, Liberty Harbour. And in actual fact, there's a, there's a little kind of harbour here, like this. Uh, but the, the, but the, the actual ferry terminal would be like smaller than this building, just smaller than that one building there. And then here on this side, because this, this would actually extend in like a fair bit. And then right here, there's actually uh, a big rail terminal. Uh, so I've got to be kind of careful how I do this. So uh, you've got Liberty Harbor, Harbor, Harbor there. You've got Paulus Hook here. Then Harbour side here, uh, maybe a tiny bit further up. And then you've got um, Hoboken has two ferry terminals. One at, uh, well, I think it's 14th Street, the New Jersey Transit Terminal, which, uh, no, the, sorry, 14th Street. The 14th Street one is up here. And the New Jersey Transit Terminal is down here. Now, this is essentially acting as the New York, uh, New Jersey Transit Terminal at the moment. So I think I'm going to put it in around about here. I might put it there. The thing is, if I put it there, then I actually want to move that across. So I, I may just put it there, like for what the hell. Um, and then uh, going further up, we've got um, Lincoln Harbor, uh, which is uh, one of two Weehawken stations so it'd be one about here one about here something like that and then there's another one up here now there is um there is one more in manhattan which is up about here it's on um what 39th street yeah 39th street um so it's gonna have to be about here so i'm gonna have to do the same thing as i'm doing here and then like I, how many lines go into into here the answer is loads loads of lines go into here now um while i'm doing this over here this has quite a few passengers um and and these often go blue because they're overloaded with passengers here i think what i'm going to do here now i could put in a um a, a large dock but i don't really want to do that to be honest so what I'm going to do instead, I think, is put in two smaller docks. And I've got to say, I'm tempted to get rid of this building, but I'm not going to. Um, how am I going to put these docks in? It's a very, very good question. I think... So I, I kind of like them just... Sticking out like that, maybe. You know, what I'm gonna I'm gonna put them like that. I think. So I'm gonna have those because we've actually got space here. I might change this later, but we'll see. And then what I want to do, I want to get rid of um, that landing, and I want our landings to be there and there. And then we'll configure this so that one of them uses terminal one, and one of them uses terminal two. That essentially doubles the amount of space we've got for our passengers. So hopefully that'll be enough. Now the other thing is there is a there is a a, a ferry uh, terminal over here. In fact, th there are ferry terminals up here as well. The problem I've got up here is that these waters up here are not navigable. So I could potentially put in like the Brooklyn Navy Yard, um, which is down here, and I could probably put in Long Island City, which is up here. And there is a uh, one over here in fact i think it's about it's about there uh on the manhattan side so i mean i don't know maybe we could do something the problem is that the scale of it like is really difficult but i might i might try and see what i can do and maybe we'll do that as like a second phase let's see if we can get this first phase in so um i'm gonna put in the jersey terminal sorry i'm gonna put in the the brooklyn terminal I'm going to change this so that it's smaller and I'm going to put in the Jersey side and then we'll see if we can hook it up and, and see how it works. Alrighty, um, I've got one left to do and I thought I'd show you how I do it. I'm going to put in the uh, the Red Hook terminal down here in Brooklyn 
uh, opposite Governor's Island. And there the really is very, very limited space down here. So I'm going to show you how I put in uh, these two terminals up here. Uh, this one, actually this one, I, I put a, a, a bus terminal in because we had a bit of space. And um, I actually double spaced the, uh, the, the docks. And then this one, because this is kind of the narrowest spot, and because we've got these piers like this here, I thought I thought we'd put that one in. And this is the this is the one that I'm going to do over here. So let's um, let's go do it. So now Red Hook is actually about here, in reality. But um, I think I'm going to have to move it a little bit. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to put in a dock, and I've already lined this up. So we're going to put you in uh, there. I think yeah, there. In you go. Then what I'm going to do is, oh, no, is configure this. Now, what I want to do is somehow <laughs> this is going to be going to be kind of interesting here. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do here is put uh, let's put it on that side. I don't really want to get that rid of those buildings if I can avoid it. Let's uh, let's put it. Yeah, if I put that on that side. Then I can get rid of that, get rid of that, and then I can put the dock. See, without putting that there, I wouldn't be able to put this dock in here. But I can put the dock in like that, and then I can get rid of that one. And I want, ideally, I want two docks here. So I'm going to put another dock. Now, uh, that's a good question, because if I put that there... Will I be able to put some more of these? Because I'd like some more of these up here. Uh, why are you giving me a collision? Oh, it's because of that building. Uh, if I remove that building, then it should get rid of the collisions, which would be very nice. Oh, no. What the hell's that? Oh, you know what? That needs to be flattened just a touch. So, let's grab that. Flatten that off. And then now, hopefully, I should be able to put in these. Ah, there we go. Now these go two ways. They can, and it's the positioning of the of these bollards, right? So I want them that way, not that way. So there and there, and that gives me two docks. The problem with this is that I won't be able to put in the landings see outside of navigable waters outside of navigable navigable waters now i wanted to show you this because this like if you, like it i don't even remember how i f figured this out but hey it is what it is so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this in and i'm going to take it like as far back as it will go now obviously that's not going to be like very attractive Right, because we've we've now got a blooming hole before the before the dock. That's not very nice, but we kind of need to do that in order to get these in. And it's you know what, it's still not letting me put them in. Ah, okay, this could be problematic. Um, now, uh, I mean, what I can try, I can try putting in an extra couple of these. Which is what I had to do uh, up on this one. It's because I had the same problem. If I do that, then are you going to let me put them in now? There's still no guarantee they'll go in. Oh, yes, they will. Hooray. Okay, boom and boom. Now, what I wanted to show you was once you've put these in, right, then you can play around with your terrain and it does not affect those landings that have already been put in now I am just wondering though if um, if two is going to be enough here and I'm actually thinking about it I'm thinking eh, not really thinking about it because what I would like is to have uh, I, I need one going up to I don't really need one going to pier 11 but I kind of wanted one going to pier 11 one going to um, uh, Battery Park. Um, I wouldn't have minded one going like directly over to Jersey, to be absolutely honest with you. And I've got this line up here coming up here as well. God, oh, man. Okay, well, 
I'll live with that for now. But but yeah, once you've got um, once you've got these anchors in, these landings, once you've put those in, then you can you can do whatever you like to the terrain. Like for okay, I could I could have the terrain coming out in front of this dock, these docks, like make it completely landlocked. The ships would still sail to it. Okay, it's weird, but that's the way it works. Okay, I think at this point. It's a case of setting up some lines, so let's do it. What do we want line-wise? Uh, we want from, now this is, um, it's a good question. I can't remember what this is, change this. This is edge water landing. Cool, that's edge water landing. This is, uh, this, uh, this one, no, oh, I didn't put in Midtown. Oh, I haven't put in Midtown, let's put in Midtown, quick. Let's put in Midtown. Oh, yeah. I was going to put Midtown there, but it's like spacing wise, I think I'll have to move it to there. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. This, um, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, let's bring that out a little bit. So I've got something to work with. Can I get this in there? Let's find out. And the answer is yes, you will go in there. Okay, fine. So if I put, let's see, if I put that kind of, so I'm going to put the the end of this dock in the middle, right? And that's going to be my center point. So if I put that in like that, configure this. Uh, and now what I want to do is get one of these docks on the end of there. So if I put that in there, then I can get this on the end there. That works. Boom. And then I want to get rid of boom 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 those three now again I can't get on on the end there so if I put one there then I can get on the end of there cha-ching hooray then I want one of those to go on the end of there but of course I can't get it to go on so uh, we have to take out that building take out that building and just extend this out a bit like that and like that configure hopefully this will go on now now this is going to have the uh the bollards at that end right now if i what if i really wanted them to go on that side which like do i I'm, I'm, but if you want them, if you want, I'll show you, show you. If you want them that way, just put another one of these. Oh, I need to borrow half a million. Uh, let's borrow a million because I'm going to need it. Uh, so configure. What you do is you put one of uh, put one of these docks on the end like that, and then it'll actually let you, or it should, but it's actually not letting me do it. It should let you put one that way, but I guess it's too close to the road. Okay, so I'll have to put it on that way. And if I've put it, done it that way, that way, or, or that way, that side, I'll do it the same way this side. Okay, so in that case, uh, I, I want that one in anyway, thinking about it, because uh, how many do I want on here? That's a good question. Let's have a look. How did I do this one? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. We'll do it the same way as that one, I guess. So if I get rid, I can get rid of that, get rid of that don't want that one and then passenger dock we want every other one so we want that one and that one and that one and oh see I can't put it onto you can't put it directly onto there so I've got to put this one in and then that one this is why it costs like so much uh, let's borrow another million because you have to build and demolish so much of this stuff. It's, it's ridiculous, the costs. What am I doing? I want one of these docks. So I have to put that in there. Then I can put that one in there and get rid of that one. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Then I have to get my flatten tool. Flatten this in. As much as it will go. And then hopefully get my landings in. Yes, I can get that one in. Okay. Need more cash. Borrow. Uh, let's borrow a couple of million. Try that again. All right. So you go there. 
Oh, come on. Really? That one won't go in for some reason. That one will. That one will. That one will. That one won't. Okay, I've got five rather than six. I might... I'll, I'll try. Sometimes it just doesn't work, and there's no real obvious reason why not, but... It is what it is. The terrain changed a tiny bit. Maybe that'll be enough. So, will you go in there? Yes, you will. All right. We've got potentially six six docks. All right. Uh, so, having done that, now I can, once again, if I want to, play around with my uh, with my terrain and just, just kind of make it look a little bit nicer because now it doesn't matter. Hooray. That is nice and tidy, isn't it? Compared with, um, you know, like compared to putting one of these things in. Um, and you got to you got to do that version. So, like, so compared to that, it's massive. It's massive. All right. So now we now we've got all of the docks in. Now, I have put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I said they should cost me, they, they should cost me like a million a piece. And that's, a, that's like a bit over the top. Okay, I've got, to, I've got to knock down some buildings as well. So, you know what, I'm going to say, should have cost me like 15 million, right? And the rest is all these knocking these blooming things down repeatedly. So I had, what, 25 million? So I should have like 10 million now. And in actual fact, I'm down four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 14 million. So now I can repay the loan and be left with 10 million. And if anybody doesn't like that and thinks that that's cheating, well, tough. So, do I have the, the Rockaway Ferry stopping at Red Hook? I mean, the thing is, it does stop at Red Hook. So I think... Yeah, but I think I'm going to share a uh, share a terminal. Yeah, and then we'll have the other terminal. I think going to Lower Manhattan. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way we're going to do it. So let's um, over here. I want to change this so that you're on terminal. You won't show me the terminals if I need to turn on my stations. There we go. So we want you on. We want you on this side. So terminal one. So you go onto terminal one. Cool. And then we want to manage this line. And we want to add a station after, well, before we go into slip five, we want to go there. And then after slip five, we want to go there. Oops, try that again. Uh, yeah, before slip five, we want to go there. Cha-ching, hooray, and there's much rejoicing. Now that we can go over here and make sure that they're both on the, using this. Yeah, they're both using terminal two. That's fine. That's good. Now we can put in new lines. I want a line going from here, Brooklyn Central, up to Lower Manhattan. Now, now I could get it to go to Jersey and then Lower Manhattan. Do I do that? I gotta say, I'm kind of tempted. Go on. Go on, we'll do, this is, I don't know, I don't know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say no, I'm just going to go to Lower Manhattan, I think, and then I'm going to have, uh, let's see, that's not what, yeah, yeah, it is, I want a line from Lower Manhattan to Jersey City, and I want a line from Lower Manhattan to Hoboken. And I want a line from Lower Manhattan to, um, to well, it's called Genius City, but this is uh, Midtown. And then I want uh, another one up to here. And I want another one, which is going to go up to, oh, no, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have one that goes up to there. Okay, that works. That works, I think. Okay. Uh, having done that, you know, I'm looking at this and thinking, should that be there? Have I imagined that? 
I, I don't know about that one. I may have imagined that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, nah, I don't know. Um, so, no, we don't want to go any further. Uh, oh, I didn't go to that one, did I? No, I've skipped that one. We want to go from here to there. Yeah, I think I've been, I did like, I'm pretty sure I've imagined that. I don't know, we'll see. I'll have to look it up afterwards. We want um, a line, then we want lines to go from here to there. And Midtown to whatever that one is. I can't remember the name of that one. And then we want to go to that one. And we want to go all the way down to Jersey City. Okay, as you can see, I've just put in, like, um, what? 11 lines. Okay, now each one of those needs to have a ship. Right, where am I going to launch my ships from? So what do I want? I want, uh, now I'm going to use these Frontenacs. Now, why am I going to use these Frontenacs? Because, like, I could use these Denara Castles. These Denara Castles, for example, and, uh, and the, the ships that follow them, are size large. They need large docks. The Frontenac is small, only needs small docks, so that's why we're using the Frontenacs. So I want 11 of these, one per line. Okay, so we will buy 11 of those. Boom. Okay, that's my, uh, that's virtually my 10 million gone. And then, all I need to do is put them on these lines. So, uh, ship three, you're going to go onto line two. Ship four. Line three, line four, line five, line six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and Eleven. Now, have I got one, two, ship, 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 too many. Um, what the hell happened to line one? Where did line one go? Oh, line one is actually something completely different. It's a, I think it's a bus line. The hell's line one? It's a good point. Where are you, line one? Yeah. Why? If I, I'm double click. Hmm. Is it? Is it there? No, it hasn't got any stations. So I just didn't like connect it up, I guess. So yeah, get rid of it. So yeah, I've got one ship too many, so I can get rid of you and sell, yes. Okay, cool. Whew, man, right, shall, um, shall we crank this up? Time's a wasting, let's crank it up. I think at this point we can get rid of all the bus stops and we'll just look at the stations because that's what we want to see. So all these are going to start coming out. So, um, now if we look at, uh, uh, this is this is Red Hook. Uh, Red Hook. Okay, and oh, we've got Line 2 going into there as well. Hooray. Oh, look at all this. We're going to have so many ships flying around here. It's going to be awesome. The, the thing is, I am expecting that these things are going to be losing money like left, right, and center, until we get like proper uh, proper lines hooked up to get people to these places. So for example, we look at Brooklyn over here. I should turn the bus stops back on, shouldn't I? Yeah. And it's like, well, okay. Yeah, it's got a decent catchment area, but we want people from all over coming to here. Well, how the hell do they get here? That's the problem. So what we, uh, what we wanna do is, for example, um, this Brooklyn one really we need to move that over here so that is exactly what I'm gonna do I am going to demolish this cool and then I am going to put in a station uh, what do I want I want a station I'm gonna have six platforms uh, can I fit 30 meter in there I mean, I can try. Can I get a 30 meter in there? Ooh, maybe. The thing is, I'm going to need this uh, to have uh, an entranceway onto this road so that it's close to this. 
Now, I could put it, like, way down this end. Um, but I think what I'm going to... So the problem is this road kind of curves in a little bit there, which makes it more difficult to put in. So I'd actually rather put it up this top end, like... Oh, God, if I can get the thing in there. Uh, I have got at least a connection there, and I've got a connection there, so that's fine. And then... Um, can, oh, come here. Configure that. Put in a straight access on that side, except that I can't put in a straight access on that side because... Oh, hang on. Oh, I can there. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, well, we're putting a straight access on that side. Now, down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this a little bit uh, by putting in some extra platforms, uh, like that maybe. And then, can I put a straight access down here? Oh, yes. The answer is yes, I can. The question is, do I want to? Um, or do I just extend it out further until I get a... Uh, like that. I've got to say, it's kind of tempting. Now, the, the thing is, you look at this and it's kind of a bit ridiculous. But, like, like I've done many things that have been very ridiculous. I could put, a, eh, I could put another straight axis down there. If I had some more money, but I don't. So I guess we'll leave it there. Now, this has picked up all of these lines that were over there. So I guess... We'll just uh, we'll just let that rock then. Ay ay ay. Now, like, is this um is this an elegant solution? No, it's really not. Is it going to stay like this? I very much doubt it. I'm probably going to come up with something else. But for now, just in terms of like getting passengers to here, this is the best way to do it. Now, what I want to do is just have a quick look at the lines. Okay, so we're, we're yeah, using that. The, the purple one, that needs to be rerouted. Because we're going over this bridge. Now, we could go over this bridge, right? Uh, but the reason that I'm not concerned about that right now is that we're going to replace that with trams. And maybe trams is going to be the next episode. And this is why I'm, I'm keeping the date paused. Because I want to get all of this infrastructure in like while it's still early vehicles. Now, let's have a look down here. Are we getting passengers? Oh, yes, we are. We've got 21, 22 passengers who want to go up to Lower Manhattan. And then from Lower Manhattan, they can switch to this ferry, which is bringing people over here. The problem is, uh, have I got my, yeah, I've got bus stops on. You can see, um, this is not close enough really to a bus stop so this bus stop here uh, I, I guess I should pause it while I do this this um, this bus stop here I want to move this over to here so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to demolish you and put you in much much closer where um, like I'm thinking like about here so boom boom you go in there Yes, you've picked up that line. Okay, go. So hopefully, we'll start shipping more than like one passenger. Okay, we've got eight passengers going back the other way. How are we doing over here? We getting, we are getting passengers on these lines. Now over here, uh, we've got we've just got a couple of these lines. What I am seriously thinking of doing is moving the lower Manhattan. Um, like terminal over to here it would make a huge amount of sense and then maybe have like another terminal somewhere I, I don't know maybe maybe have another terminal over there I don't know I don't know or maybe just like see what the see what people do whether they'll go backwards and forwards between here. The, the problem is actually it's a good point because there isn't a line we've got this uh, we've got this this alternating green and blue circle which goes around the place but there isn't a link from this one direct to lower manhattan and we really need that there is a direct link from down here 
but we need uh, we need a direct link from here to lower Manhattan so from there then they can get all over the place so you know what that line I'm gonna put in so what do I want new line from lower Manhattan to Lincoln Street this is gonna be red and uh, I'll, I'll worry about the naming it later and I need my depots where's my depots my depots are there uh, I guess no I'm gonna use this depot up here rather than that one and you might go well that one's closer yeah but for the vehicles to get over here they've got to go through this gridlock and it's just not gonna happen so I'm gonna put them in oh, where is it I'm gonna put them in on this one hopefully they'll go down there if they go over onto Broadway then they're gonna be completely screwed but yeah it is what it is buy vehicles um we haven't got a new uh a new passenger vehicle yet so one two let's put like four on and we'll see what happens so this i need to be down here somewhere and it should be line one boom okay so now we'll see if we get passengers wanting to uh wanting to go on line one up to lower manhattan so I guess let me run it on for a few minutes so that we can like get an idea of the uh, of the actual passenger numbers once it's settled down a bit. Alrighty, well we've been running now for uh, five years with the ferries. If we have a look here, you can see that's when that's when I spent all the money. I spent 45 million putting all that in. Uh, we've been running for five years and initially we were making uh, like a complete loss. Uh, but we are starting to make a little bit of profit now. Let's have a look at the lines themselves and see, are the lines profitable? Well, the answer is the Rockaway Ferry is, um, is profitable. Uh, Battery Park to Red Hook, which is uh, from Brooklyn up to Battery Park. That one is nice and profitable. But everything else is kind of not so much or losing money. So what we're going to have to do, I mean, okay, these like these two, I mean, Battery, I mean, Battery Park Hoboken, like that is, in reality, that is such a busy line, uh, and it should be making. Although it's got forty-one passages, maybe it's just taken a long time for people to get there, because some of the buses, like getting into here, uh, it's not too actually. It's, uh, it's a bit of a standstill there, but around here it's not too bad. Oh, but look at all these people waiting. Good grief. Need to get some more vehicles on that line for sure. We've got a lot of people waiting to go to uh, to Union City. So yeah, there's a lot of optimization that needs to be done to get these lines, or at least most of them, uh, nice and profitable. Now, for example, how, how could I start to optimize this? Well, if we take a look at... Uh, the, uh, let's see, Midtown to Weekorken. Okay, this line. Uh, we've got very few passengers on there, relatively speaking. Right, and then if we look at Midtown to Edgewater, Edgewater Landing, which is up here. Again, like, not so many passengers. So maybe we amalgamate those lines and we go Midtown to Weehawken to Edgewater, uh, Edgewater Landing. And we just have it as a single line going up there. And coming back uh, this 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 one that I've put in here I said I, I swear I must have dreamt it because I don't think that exists I'm gonna I'm gonna look I had a quick look while I was letting this run and I don't think it's I don't think it's there but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it and we'll see I'll, I'll do some more research after this episode uh, and see if there is one there or not but that would make a potentially a big difference if we could, uh, if we could link that up to all these other places as well. So yeah, and then, uh, and then if you look around the place, this, um, this one at Weehawken, I mean, it's not even served by a bus stop, and we need a, like a bus terminal in there, uh, shipping out to. Uh, we need links to North Bergen and to Union City. Uh, if we come down here, just just to uh, just to uh, Paulus, Paulus Hook down here. Uh, we need links from here, not just, we've got one link, 
which links us up to Jersey City. But we need links bringing us down to Jersey City South. And look how much this has expanded. Uh, we're now getting... Before, this covered, like, everything, right? Uh, but now, the, these buildings are starting to expand outside the range of even this. So, there's so much... Look, there's, there's stuff coming down here. Another one growing here. Is that in, within the range? No, see, so these buildings are outside the range of the bus stops. So, we need more bus stops and we need routes out to these places. Uh, and we, I would think we need a route out probably to link up with Ridge Street, maybe. Oh, man, there is a um, huge amount to do. So that, I think, is going to be the next episode. We'll do some optimization, and I think we'll probably try and do the trams as well uh, and start getting some trams in. But I'll tell you what, when you come down here and you see all these ferries on the river making everything look nice and busy, it's kind of awesome. Look at this. It's ferries galore. Which is pretty damn awesome. Being out here in uh, in New York Harbour and seeing all of the all the paddle steamers going up and down the Hudson is awesome. And like I said, uh, I'd, we'll try and do some stuff up here. Uh, try and put in the um, the Midtown East stop and uh, and something on Long Island and maybe the Brooklyn Navy Yard down here. Um, up here is a nightmare, can't do anything. So much to do, so much to do, but it is fascinating, isn't it? I do, I do love the fairies, they're awesome. All right, guys, so um, yeah, if you want to see more, come back for the next episode. I will catch you for that. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.